Okay guys, tropical plant update. Um, yesterday I did a bunch of individual videos on these plants. I'm going to be trying to do one for each one. So there should be eventually 16 videos um, eventually of each individual tropical plant. So that would be really, really cool. Oh, I've been wanting to do this since last year. And finally getting, finally getting a time to do it now. You got these ones starting to open up individual ones looking nice. They're looking very healthy, nice and green. Happy house looking. Got the orange tree. Everyone got citrus fertilizer last night. Well, all the citrus plants got citrus fertilizer. Got a lot of new leaves growing there. Hopefully a flower. This plant is pretty big. This plant is taller than me. Well, including the pot. If not, probably up to like my neck. This looking really good. Man, it's so hot here. It's 90 degrees right now and 60% humidity. Chance of rain tape. Chance actually a chance of storms. So we'll have to wait and see. This will probably be a hot and humid day. I mean, these tropical plants are going to love it. We got the pomegranate looking good, a lot of flowers. Hopefully we get fruit really soon. This one might develop a no fruit. The wait and see, time will tell. Everything's kind of, since we had a weird, a weird May, these plants are kind of off, off of like a month or so. We should already have baby fruit. But, oh well, I can't get, I can't control mother nature. Passion fruit looking good, we got some new growth there growing. Looking good, it's definitely should do good in a new pot now. All these are still alive, it just, kind of dormant similar how like the pomeranian is when it loses a lot of leaves and it looks dead but it's really still alive so it'll eventually come back <coughs> lemon tree looking good a lot of new leaves a lot of bottom growth down there we got a couple things grow up top here we got some more leaves starting to develop there looking good lime tree we got to still got these growing all the flowers starting to come up looking really good looking happy happy and healthy especially with all citrus fertilizer definitely gonna be Helping out a long way, that's for sure. We got the cactus in here, definitely enjoying a nice, hot, dry dirt. You guys are doing really, really good. Some flowers look good. I come down to each now, there's one per one per square now. Strawberries looking good. We got a bunch here, starting to grow. Flowers, the wine flowers looking good. New leaves growing there. It's the same with this one. They're pretty much twins. They pretty much exactly grow at the exact same time or rate. They're doing really good. Man, some sweating like crazy out here. We got more strawberries in here. Looking good. Everything's happy and healthy. We have the pineapple plant here. Join the direct sun. They get a lot of heat. This plant gets a lot of heat. It probably, it probably can easily get up to 120. We signed the door in summer. I moved the hibiscus over here. It's not looking too good. I'm gonna give it in the shade. Hopefully it recovers. We have to wait and see. We have a wild chicken. Well, not really wild. One of my chickens. We have the fig here. The time of day. Gets some of the light, some of the sun. Looking nice. We got a lot of new leaves growing on it. Very happy house growing. Hi, chicken. Don't want to mess with the flowers. Man, my dad's gonna kill you. The baby banana tree to be eventually going here. Oh, and we also the, the tropical flower to go in here too. We got these two here playing here. It should do really good in the shade. That's where the bands do really good. And also we have another one here. I really forgot about these. Guys, don't be messing with my plants. And we got two here. Once the garden gets up, these chickens are going to be grounded. And put aside play for a couple weeks. Until our garden gets established and everything's big enough. Okay, let's head over here. Oh wait, forgot we have another one here. We have our tropical flower there too. We have the banana tree here. These guys are starting to get real big real quick. But this one could probably pretty much almost go in the ground now, but we're gonna wait for all of them. The ways to go, it might only be maybe in our week or so, and these guys will be going in the ground. The mother plants looking so much still alive, it's still alive, looking good, kinda. We just need, if, if, if it starts growing new leaves, then it should be, definitely be fine. With we'll the wait and see, we got all these tomatoes and stuff here. Coming soon, gonna be going to garden hopefully ASAP. And then last but not least, we got this banana tree could get up to 14 feet tall. So that's gonna be really, really cool. So we'll wait and see what happens once it's starting. At least should be open up in a day or two. Hi. So you putting out right now? Yeah. That's nice. Huh. How much was that? Ah. Huh. It's hot. So. We still have a little bit longer to go with those before it starts getting really, really big. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed the tropical plant. Let's see what my chickens are. I had to kick them out. Chickens. Oh, okay, they're back in the yard. In the backyard. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another awesome tropical plant update. Thank you guys for watching.